And you mentioned in the beginning that you discovered what it is that drives you. Can you elaborate yeah. on that a little bit? Yes, I noticed that I've always been fascinated by human behavior. Mm -hmm. And um, when I talk to my patients in, in a conversation, I felt that both of us were present mm -hmm. and that in the, the patient clearly understands not only what I was saying, but also they understand themselves a little better. That moment where you're talking to a person and there's a moment of clarity, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. that is what I strive to accomplish. Like every moment. time, the aha moment, the, yeah. the excitement. Mm -hmm. Like I crave that, it, like I have an anticipation to have that moment with another human being. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And I love to teach. I discovered that I was very good at analogies. So when I talk to patients about diabetes and why they have diabetes, I try to make examples with things that they feel familiar with. Mm -hmm. And for many years, I, I base that skill into education, giving them more information, teaching them about diets and how to exercise and uh, information about sleep. But over time, I started discovering that everybody has a different belief system. They have a way of perceiving life that is very unique to them. So I started being more curious about emotional intelligence and belief systems. I took some emotional intelligence workshops and that's when I discovered, wow, I know a little bit more about myself. I know why I have this and these behaviors. And then immediately I started seeing that in my patients. And I was like, wow, if I, if I could learn a way to, to open that clarity for them through the coaching aspect, then it will be a lot easier for them to see their status of, the, of their health and, and to understand what behaviors takes them to do what they do and what behaviors uh, um, take them to always cheat on their diets, even though they want to lose weight. I mean, all that. And, and so through the coaching world, for me, I mean, I was coached. I learned how your belief systems affect every decision you do in your life and how you perceive life and how you approach disease and how you approach death and how you approach lifestyle changes. So I decided to go into a coaching training program and I became a life coach and I started applying those concepts into my practice. That's when I started seeing transformations. I started seeing patients that lost all the way they wanted to lose. I started seeing patients getting off medications and getting the happiness that they really dream of before. I mean, that's when I started seeing meaningful changes. And so that took me to where I am today. I designed a, a direct primary care practice where I coach my patients at the same time as I treat their medical conditions. And actually I approach all the medical conditions through the lens of the coaching. So before I start talking about diet, I coach them through uh, learning who they are. Mm, and that's I coach them. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I, I love that. For us, by us, and just for us, this is hope for men. 